ही फैली थी वाकिंग क्रिया ऑल दिस एक्टिविटी इफ इट इज डन फॉर कृष्ण तो प्लीज कृष्ण देन दे आर भक्ति अदरवाइज नॉट भक्ति अवतो इन श्रीमद भागवत ही कहे जिनको सवई पराक्रम सवई उनका परो धर्म जबो भक्ति रथो खजे अहे दुख अवतव हिता या भक्ति टोल्ड टू थिंग वन स्वरूप लक्षण एंड अदर परोधर्म या पुंसा मीन्स लेडीज मैन क्रिशर पशु पक्षी की पतंग और सॉफ्ट बर्तन जैन राइट टू डू भजन सो सवई पुंसा परोधर्म शो मीन दिस इज वनली वन मेथर नो अदर टोल्ड सॉ वही शो डेफिन एंड अदर टाइम नो वे सवई सुनसान परो फर्मो जगो भक्ति अजब खजे सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हु इज नॉट इन इन थिंकफुल बाई माइंड आई अवान मन सो गोचर अजय अजोक खज अपराध कृष्ण इज सर्विस Without any worldly gain, can you can, can you tell him to beat the sound from the phone conference? But Sri Lalu Goswami, he has learned from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Hansa, Krishna, and Radhika both combined, and he made a very very beautiful, huh? Jaganatha Bhakti. ज्ञान कर्मा ज्ञान आनकुल्लेन कृष्णा सीजनम भक्ति यू शुड ऑल ट्राई टू नो इट्स मेरी हियर इट्स मेरी एंड इंगेज योर सब इन दैट काइंड ऑफ भक्ति टोटल दी मेनी विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर है गुरुवे गौर संगय राधिकाय जगाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय भगवत्ताय नमो नम सो दिस वर्स इज डिस्क्राइब बी द परिवास द डेफिनेशन वर्स ऑफ द श्रीमद भागवतम सवाई पुख सम परोदर्मा या फिर भक्ति या डॉक्टर जय हुई थी कि अपिया की आप सम प्रसिद्ध थी So Guru Maharaj was just explaining. So the Goswami says, "Survive. Survive is definitely not maybe could be perhaps, but survive on your blood. On your blood, that's when you are going to karma in your blood. I know Guru and Krishna and Sivanam. So Sri Rupa Goswami has given. There are many different definitions of bhakti that have been given. For example, survive. It's what I said. Anurakta. The supreme absorption." In the absolute Lord is called bhakti. Also, it's been described: saru pari venir muktam tat para tat pena nimala mrishi ke na mrishi ke sa sevanam bhakti vichate. It's also been described in other places. What is the definition of devotion? That when the living entity, the soul, becomes free from his material attachment or his material identity, and with his spiritual senses engages in the sense in the service of the senses of the supreme Lord. This has also been described to be called bhakti. Is this what is called aga parama vishita tatha? Absorption in the supreme Lord is also been given as one definition of devotion. Yet Sri Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur has said, despite the many definitions of devotion that are given in Shastra, 
the Srirupa Goswami has given the topmost benediction, uh, top, topmost de- definition of devotion. What you can find in other definitions are also included in Rupa Goswami's Anya Vilasita Sunyam, but Rupa Goswami has given something which has not been given in other verses. Therefore, this has been given by Sri Rupa Goswami in his book, Sri Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. So there he says, Anya Vilasita. First, there is the intrinsic qualities of, of devotion, or the internal characteristics of devotion. He has also given two symptoms that are externally associated with devotion. So Krishna Anusilanam Bhaktir Uttame. Sri Rupa Goswami has said that devotion performed by the activities of the body, mind and words, as well as the cultivation of transcendental emotion performed for the happiness of Krishna. This is called Uttam Bhakti or pure devotion. So the intrinsic characteristics of this verse is Krishna Anusilam Bhakti Uttame. Anusilam means the cultivation. Some people think that Bhakti should be simply devoid of envy towards Krishna. But this is not sufficient. For example, a tree, he may not hate Krishna, but it does not mean he is performing devotion. There was simply an absence of unfavorable emotions towards Krishna cannot be called Bhakti. There must be some positive cultivation of activities for the happiness of Krishna. Therefore, Rupa Goswami has said, Anu Simana. Anu infers the idea that one should be performed under the guidance of the spiritual master. Anu also gives the idea of there must be a continuous flow. Not only once on the Sunday feast, once a week I perform bhakti, but 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, devotion should be formed in a continuous flow under the guidance of pure Vaishnava. For the happiness of who? Not for the happiness of my wife or my children or any other living entity in this world. What to speak of even a powerful demigod like Brahma or Shiva? Rupa Goswami has rejected all these other objects of devotion and said Krishna and Usimanam. Even other incarnations like Narayan or Nasringadev or Bhagavan Ramachandra or Mathuras Krishna or Dwarkadish Krishna all have been rejected. Rupa Goswami said that Krishna, only Sri Swayam Bhagavan Prajananda and Sri Krishna, only He is to be served. He is the object of love. Therefore, Anusimanam has two divisions, Bhavarup and Chetsarup. Chetsarup is of two divisions. <coughs> Chetsarup is of two divisions. One is in the stage of Sadhana Bhakti of Bhajan, one is in the stage of Bhava Bhakti. And then Anusimanam also means the cultivation of devotional sentiments that, is, that come after the stage of Bhava Bhakti. Also there is Nibriti Rup and Prabriti Rup. These activities performed that are favorable for devotion are also to be considered devotional and also endeavors by which one tries to avoid non-devotional sentiments or activities. This is also to be considered a cultivation of devotion. For example, on a courtesy we should not eat grains. Therefore, Prabriti Rup means for Krishna's happiness I am giving up grains on a courtesy and for Krishna's happiness uh, for for Krishna's happiness, I am also giving up grains and the Does that make sense? <laughs> for Krishna's happiness, I will follow a, I will follow a courtesy, and for Krishna's happiness, I will give up grains and the courtesy. Therefore, that is also be considered uh, chesterup endeavors. Therefore, activities should be performed not simply for the happiness of Krishna. Otherwise, there could be an overextension of the definition or an underextension of the definition. For example, activities that may be performed and Krishna may achieve happiness by those activities, but this may or may not this may not be bhakti. The example given by Sri Vishnu Chakravitako is when Krishna entered the wrestling arena of Kams Maharaj. Asane Malinam. That time the wrestlers, Chalana Mustik, they challenged Krishna. Oh, Krishna Balaram, you are servants of the king, Kamsa, therefore you should fight for his happiness. Therefore Krishna and Balaram try to avoid. We are only small boys. And you guys are like mountains. This is not a fair fight. Then Chalam Muntik said, No, we know that you are not ordinary boys. Otherwise, how you could kill big demons like Putana, Agasur, and Bakasur. Therefore, they grabbed Krishna and began trying to. They began fighting with him. Head to head, shoulder to shoulder, arm to arm, knee to knee. They were dragging each other one side to another side. That time, Krishna felt great happiness. Because Krishna is one type of hero, the topmost hero. 
Therefore, sometimes he also likes to engage in fighting. This is called beer rough. But as the child of Muslim, they are not performing their wrestling activities to give happiness to Krishna. They are performing their wrestling activities to kill Krishna. Therefore, even though Krishna felt happiness in fighting with Charan Musik, we cannot say Charan Musik were performing devotion despite Krishna's happiness. Because their mood was not to give happiness to Krishna, their mood was to try and kill him. Therefore, simply giving a, that Krishna may be happy by an activity may not in itself be an indication of pure devotion. There also may be an under-extension of the definition. For example, Madhya Soda is tying Krishna to the grinding water and threatening to beat